don't right. Another real quick note in Thomas Friedman's column today. Please don't even say that. We should be uh, arming ISIS. Of course. <laughs> of course we That's should. That's his new. <laughs> Is that what he said? He actually yeah, said. Read. Do you he want said, me to read the quote? Well, yeah, well, let's talk All about right, we'll it get in, to the, the, better in half. the fun half. Because fun. This is the fun. I, I would say, like, hashtag even for him on this column. He's out of Look, his mind. He's, he's disrupting things. <laughs> he's he's disrupt. getting in there, and he's breaking sh- shite. It's the new economy, man. You get in there and disrupt it. I, I this just is what finished I say. playing golf with Abu Baghdadi. Boom. Here's the thing. <laughs> We talked about this on the uh, uh, on the second half of the show yesterday when Glenn Beck uh, predicted that ISIS would take over Europe and then we would have to um, join up with Russia so that Russia could take over Europe from ISIS. That's right. Okay? Well, boom, we arm ISIS so they can take over Europe and they can fight Russia. We'll just be on ISIS's side. So... I mean, look, here's the, uh, here's the choice, I guess, is really what it comes down to. It's like... When you go to Paris <laughs> and you want to go uh, to walk down the, the Seine River, I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's a very well, you, you're on a trip. I'm on a trip. <laughs> and the question is if the Russians are controlling Paris or if the ISIS is controlling Paris. What is the relative difference going to be in the price of hotels? <laughs> right? So that's really, I mean, what's the difference going to be in the price of hotels? Now, on one hand, the ISIS people will probably destroy the museums. But on the other hand, you know, why feel so obligated to see a museum? Russians are really very tacky. And from what I understand, that ISIS, you know, they drive a hard bargain, but then they stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> so if the ISIS, they destroy the museums, at least you don't have to feel like, oh, we didn't get to the Jus de Palm or whatever it was. Because you come back and everybody's like, did you see the Mona Lisa? And I just didn't feel like I wanted to do more shopping. <laughs> 